on my site uh, ravisaga.in i do have uh, an option to let my readers subscribe to a newsletter and this particular newsletter is something that i recently uh, moved from feedburner to mailchimp but in my opinion i think uh, having this option to subscribe to a site or a blog to receive regular uh, emails is something that should not be the top most priority especially if you are uh, a site builder you want to share content online the best way in my opinion is to have uh, rss feeds now rss feeds uh, i mean not the best way but it is one of the best way because when you have rss feeds you are basically letting your users your viewers decide how they want to subscribe to your content they can use their own rss feed reader or maybe they can use uh, something like uh, indie web uh, clients to subscribe to the feed but today i want to show you very quickly how i create feeds for different type of contents now on my home page i basically have a few things like notes and blogs that are published on the front page and in drupal you you have this option to publish to front so based on that particular criteria i have a feed for it uh, that you can take a look at here you can click on the link here called uh, subscribe to and it will basically give you a link to my rss feed on the home page now this works quite uh, well but to create a feed all i need to do i need to basically modify the view and create a new view so if i show you the configurations i'll go to the edit view and uh, there is a feed here called uh, feed uh, so it's a view and the good thing about uh, drupal is that uh, you have the option to create uh, a new feed which is great and this works really well because uh, you can of course configure it the way you want and when you let us say sh want to create a feed of your content uh, you can then specify the um display type like right now it is rss and uh, you can always configure it in you in your manage display so if you want to enable a separate display options for rss you can do that in your content type and uh, once you do that you can uh, obviously select the format which is uh, rss and you can also take a look at some of the settings if you want to change few things here like maybe you want to add a description but i usually keep it to content and i manage the manage display uh, where i add fields if i need to now apart from doing these two things one thing that i also do is uh, i of course give this particular feed a path for example the default feed on my site is called rss.xml and there is also an option to attach it to your page display so if you're looking at a page like the front page or any other page on my site where i have a view where i have a, where i have a page view you will find this link to my rss feed of that particular page for example let me show you my replies so if i'm re re replying to any other indie web compatible site or maybe on drupal for example or maybe uh, maybe on github so you can see here that all the replies that i have been doing on other people's post but if you just want to take a look at the rss if you want to sus subscribe to my rss feed of my replies i do have this link here so maybe if you want to follow me or if you want to follow all of my content of course you don't have to but if you let us say want to follow whatever i'm doing whatever i'm replying to other people you can uh, subscribe to these individual feeds so i keep it enabled for all the feeds all the views all the page views like uh, likes for example so if i'm liking something on twitter or any other indie web compatible site i have a feed for it that uh, you can subscribe to similarly for my uh, repost repost is something similar to retweet 
so i do have this uh, this rss feed option here but at least for the home page or maybe for your blog you should have this particular feed rss feed enabled so i do have of course uh, mailchimp enabled on my site because some people just prefer simple plain emails and uh, of course when you're talking about mailchimp mailchimp can uh, also read your uh, rss feed so whenever i'm writing a new note or maybe if i want to share something i do have a separate feed called uh, rss hyphen social dot xml so rss hyphen social dot xml is only a feed where i want to share it to the maybe my my mailchimp newsletter or maybe i have some uh, automations using zapier that i want to trigger so this particular rss feed called rss hyphen social dot xml is of course managed through my um, view but it is filtered on a specific keyword so the good thing about a view is that when you creating when you when you create a view in drupal for example if i show you my feed for uh, social i have a filter here called topic equal to share so only when i add this topic which is share which is nothing but a keyword or a tag on my post then there will be a new entry in this particular feed and based on uh, a new entry in my rss social feed i can uh, do some automations like this particular item or that new item will be shared on twitter linkedin maybe on facebook that is of course done by zapier and uh, mailchimp will also read that new post and uh, send an email so the great thing about uh, drupal is that you can configure views and you can also use a feed view to configure the the different rss uh, options different rss feeds so in my opinion you should have uh, rss enabled on your uh, site if you're using wordpress or maybe a standard cms then you will definitely have this uh, feed option rss feed option already you just need to make sure that uh, people can take a look at the link there is a link available and you have to of course make it available for people to click on so this is all i wanted to share on this particular topic today and i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much